In our previous videos, we dealt with elevations such as the cusps and the ridges, the depressions such as the fossas. In this video, we will be dealing with the grooves that are present on the surface of the teeth and the junction of these grooves which are called as the pits. Watch the video till the end to understand it well. Hi, we at Dentarize welcome you all to a platform where we help you to conceptualize, visualize and memorize dentistry. Starting with the definition of developmental grooves given by Wheelers, a developmental groove is a shallow groove or a line between the primary parts of the crown or the root. Let's see how these grooves look like. On observing the pattern of the lines, which are also called as the grooves on the occlusal surface of maxillary first premolar, let's focus on the central part. The line present in the center is called as a central developmental groove. This central developmental groove then runs mesially and buccally to form the mesiobuccal developmental groove. It is named so because it is present in the mesial and the buccal direction. This central developmental groove also continues towards the mesial surface of the tooth making the mesial marginal developmental groove marked in the figure in yellow. If we see on the distal side, this central developmental groove extends towards the distal and the buccal side to form the distobuccal developmental groove. Now let's observe the pattern of grooves present in the maxillary first molar. Before starting with the occlusal surface, let's keep our focus on the buccal surface of maxillary first molar. So as represented by red line, this groove is called as the buccal developmental groove because it is present on the buccal surface of the tooth. This buccal developmental groove then continues onto the occlusal surface of the tooth thus separating the mesiobuccal cusp and the distobuccal cusp and is named as the buccal groove of central fossa represented by blue line. This buccal groove of central fossa then takes a turn towards the central part of the tooth and thus marks the central groove of the central fossa. This central groove of central fossa then takes an oblique turn and then moves towards the lingual aspect. That is why it is called as the distal oblique groove marked in the figure in yellow. This distal oblique groove then turns itself towards the lingual surface of the tooth thus marking the lingual developmental groove. As we read in the video of the cusps, Maxillary first molar has a fifth cusp which is called as the cusp of Cerebelli. This fifth cusp is also demarcated by a groove which is called as the fifth cusp groove marked in the figure in brown. Let's observe the pattern of grooves present in the mandibular first molar. On particularly focusing on the buccal surface of mandibular first molar, the groove which is present towards the mesial and the buccal side is called as the mesiobuccal developmental groove and it separates the mesiobuccal and the distobuccal cusp, demarcated in the figure in red. In the similar manner, the groove which is present in the distal side and the buccal side is called as the distobuccal developmental groove and it separates the distobuccal cusp from the distal cusp. Coming to the occlusal surface of mandibular first molar, the groove which is present in the exact center of the occlusal surface marked in the figure in black will be called as the central developmental groove. The groove which separates the mesolingual and the distolingual cusp marked in the figure in brown will be called as the lingual developmental groove. Let's deal with another variety of grooves that is the supplemental groove. A supplemental groove differs from a developmental groove in a way that these are less distinct. These are also shallow linear depressions present on the surface of the tooth and they do not mark the junctions of the primary parts. Starting with the second section of the video that is the pits present on the tooth, these are small pinpoint depressions located at the junction of the developmental grooves. 
Let's see how these pits are formed and how these are named. On observing the occlusal surface of maxillary first premolar, the pit which is present on the mesial side formed by the confluence of the central developmental groove, the mesiobuccal developmental groove and the mesial marginal developmental groove is called as the mesial pit. In the similar manner, the pit which is present towards the distal side formed by the confluence of the central developmental groove and the distobuccal developmental groove will be called as the distal pit. In the very similar manner present on the occlusal surface of maxillary first molar, the confluence of grooves forms a pit. The one towards the mesial side will be called as a mesial pit. The one in the center of the occlusal surface of the tooth will be called as a central pit. The one towards the distal side will be called as a distal pit. In the similar manner on the occlusal surface of mandibular first molar, we can observe the mesial pit towards the mesial side, central pit on the center of the occlusal surface and the distal pit present on the distal side. So this was all about developmental grooves and pits as landmarks of the tooth. If you like our content, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Suggestions are always welcome from your side. Stay tuned. Stay safe.